and these carvings are kind of a pain because you got this hat hanging out here in front of you the whole time. So you're always working around that or this beard trying to get where you want to mm -hmm. be. Well, I got this tool. I'm going to go ahead and clean up this nose a little bit. And see, we kind of got a deal there. Let me just get rid of a little bit of that wood there. Just down a little too far on that one side. Where I want it to be. Oh, and curve just a little bit brighter today. It's just a little bit too dark, man. And see, that needs kind of a little bit of an eyelid there. Let's see if we can pop one in without breaking it. Kind of needs another line in his face right there. More definition. I don't think I can get a V-tool in there. Uh, a little one maybe. A little tiny one. Might be able to get him in there. Stuff out. Up here, just get this. Okay. In that corner of that eye in there a little deeper. It's hard to see it in this light and this angle, but when this guy sets up and that light's coming from the top, that'll really make a difference. Just getting that eye, corner of that eye nice and deep. It's worth that extra couple of moments it takes to go in there. Pop that corner out. It just gives it so much more depth. This one here I can hardly see. I'll tell you if it gets any darker, I'm going to have to turn the lights on. It's always nice to be in the nice warm shop, but it would be even nicer if you could see in the nice warm shop. I like natural light to work if I can get it so much better than artificial. It's hard to get artificial light directional enough to do things like sculpture where you're, everything's real sensitive to how the light plays out on the surface. Everything's defined by shadows. Okay, now this guy here, I want to establish that lower kind of eyelid area. I 
A lot of people would go after a smaller tool probably right here, but if you're careful, this big tool will do the job just fine. All you got to watch is that outer corner. You don't want to hook that on that eyeball or something and mess up. That's why I run it right up on its edge. the bridge of my nose. Okay. Now, take this guy here. up there and just lock that lower eyelid under that upper eyelid cut from earlier. Shazam, you got it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Yep. Okay, ready to do the mouth, finish it up. Do a little more work on the nose, I guess. You need to smooth that a little bit. Getting those eyes set is the hardest part, making a good carving. And the hardest part on this darn nose is remembering which way the grain goes. See, I just hooked that a little bit there. So like I said, the grain in this thing's tilted to keep this strong. And it throws the rest of the entire carving off, kind of, to how you think it is to the way it actually is. So here... Your eyes kind of playing catch up. And make sure you don't make a mistake that really costs you. Chip a nose off or something bad. What do you do if you do chip a nose off? Um, you know, if it's not a bad chip, he's probably just going to have a smaller nose. If it's a serious chip situation, then I'm probably going to try to reattach. And then paint the carving. Yeah, if it's if you do a nice job, super glue, it's pretty hard to see it. Um, or even tight bonds, hard to see if you do a nice job. If you just really kind of feel that chip back into where it kind of really locks in like it should. Okay, now we got to So kind of got to come up in here and establish this um, cheek mustache nose corner. It's kind of like instead of the four corners, it's the three corners come together right here. So you got that mustache is running up and that cheek line is running out. And the cheek line is going to come back around over here, which we can probably just about establish right now, I guess. There's really no reason to hold out on that. Okay, I'm gonna get that guy there just a little bit deeper. I'm gonna kind of use him to my advantage. Okay, so then you're gonna have a cheek line that's gonna come off the nose. You got this mustache, I should say, is coming down this way. We're gonna kind of run the mustache out, move that, move that eyebrow up just a little bit. So we're gonna kind of come around here and hook this together. So we've got to kind of establish this mustache. Oh, 
We'll get up to that corner here in just a minute. This guy here. What I kind of do with these is I kind of hook them in and then just kind of ride their radius around. Take that up there to where I'll hide it in a V cut here in a minute. And I just established a little bit more of an eyelid there. It should all work out okay. I'll just cut this cheek down. A lot of times people think of those chisels as cutting one way, but they actually cut both ways, you know. So if you're wanting to round that cheek, you can use the inside of the tool versus using the outside of the tool, which is where I start. You can get a real nice line established there. Uh, so now, up here, I'm just going to cut into here a little bit. And all that's going to provide is a stop cut for the texture on that side here, there on his face. And then right here. Again, it's one of those little details that. Having a nice, crisp, deep shadow right here. Just really defines his nose. See, just that nice deep corner right mm -hmm. there it really makes that pop out then. It's going to come along there and stress that out just a little bit. There we go. Okay, uh, do the same thing over here. You've already kind of got that established, so you got that line to go by then. On the other side. Start working my way in. grain right here is just really touchy it's just kind of wanting to get you the whole time you're there mm -hmm. working on it and begging for you to goof yeah begging for you to goof it's exactly right not that it would be catastrophic but it won't help you any if you do a big split out tear out kind of thing over here it's not gonna it's more work that you don't necessarily want right Right. I mean, it's not going to be the end of the world, but same token, it's not something that you want to do if you can keep from it. Let's be down just a little more. And then just kind of ride that chisel around there. So I just got to remember when you're doing that kind of thing, you're 
putting pressure on that wood as you drive that chisel in there. It's a wedge and bad things can happen. So you don't want to get carried away. You're not splitting firewood. And you do want to watch when you're doing what I'm doing right here using the back of that because the bevel's up so it's going to want to dive into your piece of wood. You kind of want to keep that in mind. It's no different than working on the eyes or anywhere else. It's just a matter of using some sense on how much pressure you're putting on things. Not getting carried away. Get carried away and it's fragile, you'll break something. A little flake of wood in there. I didn't like it. There we go. Go up here and get his nose. There we go. Smooth sailing from here on out. Yes, yeah, sailing here on out. Now it's just a matter of getting this uh, established here around the mouth and uh, getting the mouth cut in and we're good to go.